everyone, I'm Sophia with Awaken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. Today, we celebrate the feast of St. John Houghton, and by extension, we also celebrate the unbending faith of many more Carthusian martyrs who died during the reign of King Henry VIII. John Houghton was born around 1487. There are few records about his early life, but we can assume his family was well off since he received his education at Cambridge, and when he was about 30 years old, avoided an arranged marriage by becoming a Carthusian monk. By the time he was in his 40s, he was elected as prior of his monastery in London. By this time, King Henry VIII's reign was well underway. After several stillborn children and repeated failure to produce a male heir with Catherine of Aragon, he started to think that his marriage was cursed. He tried everything to render their marriage null and void in the eyes of the church, even appealing directly to the Pope, but was unsuccessful. The king was stubborn, however, and took matters into his own hands. He divorced Catherine, taking a second wife, Anne Boleyn, who created quite a stir. He then passed the act of succession, which claimed that his second wife's children were his true heirs and those born to his first wife were illegitimate. Henry didn't want anyone questioning his decision. So as part of the act of succession, he demanded that all of his subjects, that is everyone in the country, including the clergy, formally recognize the act as legitimate and the king's rule as absolute. So it was that in 1534, two royal officials visited the Carthusian monastery and spoke with the prior. John was no fool. He knew that his community would suffer if they angered the king, but at the same time, he could not, as a Catholic, agree that Henry's divorce and remarriage was justified. In an effort at a compromise, he asked that he and his fellows be made exempt from the rule, but this was already seen as defiance, and he was immediately arrested. A couple of months after his arrest, the clause, as far as the law of Christ allows, was added to the act of succession, enabling Catholics to assent to it in good conscience. John was released at this time, but he would have only a brief reprieve, as Henry soon passed the act of supremacy. With this, the king declared himself as head of the Church of England, separating from Roman Catholicism and enabling him to do as he pleased. Again, John was asked to agree with this act, and again, he asked for an exemption. He was arrested a second time, along with many other Carthusians who faithfully refused to comply with the king's whims. In 1535, they were sentenced to death for treason and executed soon after. John was the first of these, and he went cheerfully to his death. As the proto-martyr of the English Reformation, he is celebrated alongside both the Carthusian martyrs and the 40 martyrs of England who represent the hundreds of Catholics who suffered in the period of strife that began with King Henry VIII's attempt to separate from the church. When something divisive happens in our own community, so much responsibility falls on the first person who takes a stand for one side or the other. When faced with those situations, we should pray for the courage to be the first line of defense for the faith. St. John Houghton, pray for us.